Hey guys. Hi. <laughs> so I'm going to walk you through week 11's warm up, the stinger line exercise. So I set up this whole little contraption at home. So right now I'm looking at week 11 stinger and you are going to do these drawing exercises. And then in the discussion post, write one thing that you liked or learned about, um, liked or learned about the drawing exercise. So we're going to go through and do a series of parallel lines, gradated parallel lines to get some value in there. Then we're going to do some hatching and then a value shift parallel line exercise. All right, so I'm going to walk you through how to do this in case you are just doing this asynchronously. So I'm going to set up my drawing by doing, I don't need to use a whole page for each drawing. I'm just going to do a little thumbnail sketch. And again, I'm not making you guys post this, but it is a good exercise. So I'm just going to make a couple little boxes so I can do these exercises on a smaller scale so I don't waste too much time. But these are helpful exercises for our warm up for what the project is going to be because I'm assigning a line drawing project that is gonna be worth 100 points for the final grade. So this is gonna be a big project grade for marking period two. And then when you guys are in the classroom, some of you will get to do this project with me, um, only the ninth grade cohort A and B. All right, so let's start with the parallel line exercise. So hold your pencil loosely. I'm left-handed, but um, just same thing. And then I'm going to just practice doing some straight lines freehanded using the same um, pencil weight. So I'm like applying the same amount of pressure each time I do one of these lines. Okay. Okay, next I'm gonna practice doing some lines with a really hard pencil thickness and some lines with a really soft pencil thickness. So. I'll start off doing a couple really dark. And then I can try to shift to gradually getting a little bit lighter. Just good practice. Okay. And then we'll do a set of, of parallel lines with even pressure and line weight, and then continue adding new sets and new directions. So for this exercise, the purpose of this exercise is to learn how to draw parallel lines in different angles. So some vertical, some horizontal, um, um, having consistent pressure control on your pencil and then learn to begin and end strokes precisely and consistently, and then learn how to change in stroke direction affects the appearance of the drawing. So I have my little guide up right here. It doesn't have to be copied but I'm going to practice doing lines in different directions using the same pencil weight. So I'll start by doing a few diagonal, and I'm going to try to fill up my whole entire space, the whole entire section. So I'm kind of just like visually creating different um, shapes in my head. just helping me think creatively about the different shapes and things I can do. Try to think about how you can switch the direction. This time I'll go vertical. of has a very interesting compositional look. And it's only using straight lines. So 
So there we go. And then lastly, okay, this one's a variation doing um, value shifting. So you'll start off with a really light pressure and then you'll go to a darker pressure or start with a dark pressure and then go to a lighter pressure. Okay, so let's start now. So I'm gonna start with dark and then gradually for light. Starting dark and going light. All right, this time I'm gonna start light and go dark. So it's a little bit more tricky to do it that way because I was so used to doing it the other way, but still a good exercise. Start light and go dark. To me, honestly, it's easier to start harder and then go lighter. There we go. So that was the end of the drawing exercise. And then all I want you to do for that, for week 11 stinger, is just to, po to post what you liked about it. So maybe you liked doing the continual line work, maybe you liked doing the different pressures, maybe you liked using the same pressure, maybe you liked um, a variation of both. Okay, so now let's get to the project. So this project in week 11, I just clicked on it here. So this is going, you're going to create a drawing using only straight lines and you're going to cover your whole paper. So this does not need to be a realistic drawing of anything. You're just using straight lines in a creative way. Also, I want you to consider the size of the paper that you're working with. And you might want to cut the paper in half since we are requiring a lot of detail. Um, try using some different thicknesses and thicknesses, maybe different type of weighted markers, like some thick, some thin. And then the criteria that I'm going to be grading you on, and I actually have a little printout that I'm going to be giving the ninth graders when they join me. So I've got a little rubric here, and okay, my lighting is not that great, so let me move this so it's not too much of a shadow. Okay, so you are gonna be graded on the lines so that you used only straight geometric lines in your drawing. You do not need, need to use a ruler unless you want to. And I would almost prefer it if you did not use one just to be practicing our, um, our skill with doing a semi straight line without using a ruler. And these lines could be straight, vertical, horizontal, zigzag, diagonal, and they can be thick or thin. I'm also going to be grading you 20 points on an interesting composition. So for this assignment, you shouldn't just be doing straight lines in, you know, just a simplistic form. Like something like this is just not very, very creative. So try to think a little bit more creatively about how you can use straight lines to create an interesting composition. This composition is just a little flat. All of these are a little bit too flat, except this one does have some interest. And then I'm gonna be grading you on neatness and craftsmanship, so 20 points. So you don't have a lot of like marks, maybe like um, sometimes when I know I'm using a pen, sometimes my if I'm smearing my hand, the pen could make some little marks. So I'm gonna be making sure you don't make those kind of mistakes. And then also I want you to use the same drawing material throughout your drawing. So this shouldn't be like a rainbow line project. It should just be one pen color or one marker color. Um, so I would prefer that you use black. So black pen, black Sharpie, black ballpoint pen. If you don't have any pens or any Sharpies, I guess pencil would be fine, but I would like this drawing to be more archival and to put some of these really, really creative ones in the art show. And then last but not least, you'll be uploading a photo to the discussion post. That's called post a photo of your line drawing here worth 100 points. So if you merely just copy these examples, um, I'm thinking of only giving a grade if it's super neat, if it's super clear of an 80%. So if you don't have any creative bones in your body and you just are like, Miss Hess, I need to copy because I don't know what to do, that's only gonna get you 80% because you didn't really think at all about the creativity aspect. So if you're choosing to copy, it's only gonna get you a C grade, not an A grade. So we should be using different strategies. These are just some examples to help you get your mind, um, you know, focused on a creative idea. So 
I always like to start off a drawing using thumbnail sketches. And let me do a new video for this second part.